Hello, Vice Crew. This is uh, Steve. I wanted to uh, say thanks for tuning in. This is what we're going to be tying today. It's going to be the uh, double winged caddis. So this is the first one in the series. These, these are going to come out every week for you guys. So what you're going to need is some brown thread, some fine deer hair, some brown super fine dubbing. Now you can get this all from Reeds. Um, I've sent out uh, the the materials list for you guys. So yeah, but without further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna start off um, with uh, your brown thread onto the hook shank itself. Bring it to just about the bend. Um, you can tie this with both a tail and without a tail. So I will uh, be tying it without a tail. So we have a small amount of your dubbing, right? So again, like I've taught you guys, you should be able to float in the air, right? So. Let's get this onto the uh, the thread. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this about a halfway up the uh, shank. And when you look at a caddis, it looks like a meat tube, right? So we're gonna, just gonna grind that up. So nice and thin to about there. All right, so at this point here, you're gonna grab a small clump of your fine deer hair Right, so let me just clip off a clump and then I can show you kind of what we're looking at here. So about this much here, okay. Uh, throw this into the hair packer. I told you guys, uh, if you can, you don't have to stack them, um, but it looks better with the tips like this, okay. Uh, one really neat thing about this is you can measure it up. You kind of want it just to sit just to the back there. So then you can trim up um, your ends here so you don't have to do it once you tie it in and then you just tie in your butts here all right so nice and poofy the nice thing about deer hair is that it's very buoyant right so we're gonna finish it uh, and then after this point here we're gonna grab some more dubbing Again, remember, float in the air. That's about the right amount. All right. So we're just gonna dub, do a nice little rope of dubbing there. We're going to wrap that up just behind the eye. Okay, and then we're going to put another amount of dubbing on there. You can see how that's a nice wing there. That's gonna float really nicely. So, all right, so again, we're gonna grab a small little stack of our, our deer hair, right? So I would say about, I'd say half a pencil or a pencil width, right? So we're gonna again, throw it into the stacker, make sure all those tips are nice and even. Again, if you don't have a stacker, don't worry about it. So, okay. All right, I'm just gonna throw those back. Apparently it jumped out on me there. Really quick and easy pattern, all right? So again, we're gonna measure this up. I want this to be about three quarters of the length of the previous one. And then we can, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna do a little head on this. So measure it a bit longer, all right? Put it into place, one wrap, two wraps, cinch down. All right, nice, fluffy, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come onto it here. We're gonna whip finish it here. All right, nice whip finish. Pull it tight, clip it off. And that's our double wing caddis. So hope you enjoy. I will talk to you guys all soon. As always, feel free to text, email, either uh, Reed or myself with any questions, um, with fly tying, anything fly fishing. I will talk to you guys in a week. Stay tuned for the weekly newsletters. And I wanna see those flies in, uh, in the fly tying contest. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing those. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care, be healthy. All right.